Thank you, thank you, thank you, viewers. Welcome back. We are here with uh, Reverend Muturi. Thank God you. bless you with Reverend Jeroge. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining us. We are here, we are back. Today we are talking about seeking the face of God. Mm. And our key verse today is in the book of Amos 5, uh, verse 4, where the Bible says, For thus says the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek me, and you shall live. Mm -hmm. And Reverend Moturi had a good time to expose to us the book of Amos. Mm -hmm. That all, Amos was a shepherd, but he was called to the office of, pro, uh, to the office of the prophet mm -hmm. uh, so that he can go and call the children of Israel for repentance. Mm -hmm. And we thank God. And we have successfully discussed so many things. Uh, we, we now know what is to seek God. Yeah. Yeah, we, we looked through the Bible and we saw men and women of God that were seeking God. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we have uh, gone through the ways on seeking God, mm -hmm. and then we have just uh, about to finish on the hindrances mm -hmm. of seeking God. So, Reverend Mutu, maybe there is one that is remaining. Yeah, I have one. Mm. Uh, pride. Pride. Pride can become a very great hindrance mm. in seeking the face of God. Mm. I always put it in my own words mm. that pride does not come dressed up, mm. but it is hidden in the little things. Mm that God commands us to do mm. and we do. We fail to do them. Mm. We do, we do, go, we do go to happen mm. And that's why in the book of songs, Anato, uh, so, uh, so Solomon Anasema, that catch me the little foxes because they are the ones which spoils the vine. Kwa hivyo, katika mambo madogo madogo ambayo mungu huwa anatu address on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. If the Lord speaks to us, anakuambia kakituka dogo, na maybe unakata kusikia, I think that is a very great hindrance mm. of seeking the face of God. It's true. God cannot issue a, a second command mm. if you have disobeyed the first command. Mm. So unakuta ya kwamba mungu huwa na... Kwa sababu maisha ya, ya, ya kutafuta... God cannot give you this, uh, this, the, the second, second command, command yes. if you have disobeyed, disobeyed the, first the first one. Command. That yes. is very powerful. Yes. Mm. God cannot <clears throat> do that. Mm. Ni lazima kwanza, you go back to the point mm. in which you disobeyed, mm. you correct things up, mm. and then now you continue moving on. Wow. Kwa hivyo nakuta ya kwamba watu wengi, maisha yao inakuwaga hindered na kwa sababu uyo mtu alikataku ti mm. sauti ya mungu. Mm. Kwa hivyo mungu anasema kwanza wewe uniti kwanza, niposa tuweze kuendelea mbele. Na kumuka sana wakati mumoja uh, back in our church many years ago, kuna ndugu in our church ambaye alibarikiwa. Mm. He was an electrician. Mm. And then akapata contract kubwa sana mm. ya pesa mingi sana. Mm. That man, after tu kupata ile pesa, immediately akatoroka kanisa. He never tithed, he never gave, he never did anything, mm. ata alizima simu yaki. Oh. So we tried to look for him because he was very faithful na kanisa alikuwa nakuja ka, ka, kabisa. Mm. Lakini tu alipo pata kazi na contract ya pesa mingi sana mm. akatoroka kanisa mm. before to before long to di muskia ya kwamba anaenda kwa club ambayo ilikuwa tu karibu na kanisa huko mm. so alikuwa anaingia huko anaambia watu mkae chini mm. kila mtu anaitishiwa ile kitu anataka kupewa mm. na anapewa na everything mm. na hiyo pesa iliifika mahali ikaisha kwa sababu sasa hakuna vile ambavyo unaweza toroka kanisa alafu uende ukumisuse ile baraka Mungu amefanya namna gani mm -hmm. I always say this that if it took the blessings of God the blessing of God mm -hmm. to, uh, to, 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 to give you something mm -hmm. it will take the blessing of God to sustain it yes. ni lazima iwe ni baraka ya Mungu ita sustain ile baraka ambayo Mungu amefanya namna gani mm -hmm. lakini yeye hakujua hivyo alitoroka I'm telling you the truth that man alishuka chini unaona na akashuka chini na pesa yake yote ikaisha before uh, long nikamsikia one of the keshas amekuja ameingia kanisani na amekuja all the way mpaka mahali nilikuwa pale mbele na akaanza kulipend nilipoongea naye ku cut the long story short akaniambia vile mambo ambayo hivi alikuwa amefanya nikamuombea nikamrudisha kwa Mungu lakini nakuambia even after i returned that man to god it took him a long long time before god restored him another time yeah. ni kwa sababu gani ya pride. Pride. Uh, pride ilichukua roho yake na akakosa kukumbuka mahali ambapo baraka zake zilikuwa zimetoka. Wow. So it is important for us when God if we have to seek God effectively. Mm. Lazima tuachane na mambo ya pride. Soul ile kitu limwangusha it was pride. Yes. Soul in fact ukiangalia maisha ya, ya, ya Daudi na ya Sauri 
Sauri alikuwa na dhambi zake zilikuwa ni kidogo mm. kuliko Daudi. Mm. Lakini Daudi he was not proud. Mm. Hata akikosea Mungu alikuwa anaenda kwa Mungu yeah. in humility. Mm. Yes, anaambia Mungu mimi nimefanya makosa. Mm. Nisamehe, Mungu anamsamehea wanaendelea mbele. Mm. Kwa hivyo it is important for us to keep pride away from us mm. so that as we see God mm. we may have a breakthrough. Wow, umeongea kitu nimesikia imeniguza kabisa. Uh, pride. Yes. Hiyo ndio kitu inaua watu wengi sana mm. zaidi mm. ina develop ndani yako ukiwa na pride na hakuna kitu Mungu anachukia kama pride yes. god hate pride mm. he says james 46 anasema yes. yes he give grace to the humble yes. but he possesses the proud mm. kama kuna kitu Mungu anachukia ni pride mm. na hiyo ndio kitu cha kwanza mm. about the seven things that god hate yes. one of the thing is pride mm. Mm. pride for example ukiangalia in the book i think in luke luke 18 wana watu wawili walienda kuomba mm-hmm. kama yeah. the, the taxpayer and the, and the pharisee mm-hmm. wale ambao walienda kuomba mm-hmm. uh, what disqualified the, the, the pharisee the pride yes. kujigonga kifua na kujiinua mm-hmm. yes. wow that is poor mm-hmm. so tukiendelea kutoka hapo kwa maana sana naona kama tumemaliza hiyo mm-hmm. mimi naweza patia reverend one minute tuseme kitu mm-hmm. then now we can go mm-hmm. to the importance of seeking god okay nitie tu nguvu alafu nimalizie hiyo mm-hmm. yes eh, siku moja nilisoma kitabu ilikuwa inaitwa final quest mm-hmm ilikuwa inaongea juu ya adui ya Wakristo. Mm-hmm. Adui walikuwa wengi, lakini adui mmoja mkubwa ni Kiburi. Mm-hmm. Ambaye ndiyo pride. Mm-hmm. Na eti Kiburi ha, haikuji kwa mbele mm-hmm. wakati na kuataki inakuja nyuma. Mm-hmm. So watu wengi wakati wako na Kiburi hata hajui. Mm-hmm. Maana iliingia kwa nyuma pole mm-hmm. pole pole pole. Kiburi inaingia pole pole. Mm-hmm. Na Wakristo wengi wanapata wako na Kiburi maana hawatch moyo wake mm-hmm. na haku anajua. Mm. Sasa ili niweze kuingia kwa ile ambao umeniomba kwa haraka. Biblia inasema ya kwamba kwenye kitabu cha John chapter 12 verse 26 mm-hmm. ya kwamba mtumishi wangu kama atanitumikia mm-hmm. na akubali kuwa mahali ambapo nimemtuma awe. Mm-hmm. Na kama atakuwa mahali na muhitaji mm-hmm. uwepo wangu utakuwa pamoja na yeye. Mm-hmm. Kama kuna kitu ambacho lazima tuangalie, je, tuko mahali ambapo Mungu anatuhitaji? Mm-hmm. Oh. Maana Mungu akikutuma kuna mahali anakuhitaji. Yes. Na Mungu huwa na, God moves. Mm. Wakati Mungu ana move, ana move na ile sauti ambayo alinena. Mm. Na kama vile ndugu yetu ameongea, mm. kuna dhambi zinaitwa omission mm. na commission. Mm. Sasa omission ni wakati unaamua kutofanya mm. kile ambacho Mungu anakuhitaji. Mm. Na siri kubwa ya kuwa na uwepo wa Mungu ni kukubali kufanya kile Mungu anakuhitaji. Mm-hmm. Example kwa haraka sana. Mm-hmm. Siku moja nilikuwa na shida nyingi. Mm-hmm. Na nilikuwa peke yangu kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Jamii yangu walikuwa wameenda. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nimeamua kufunga na kuomba. Nikaamua niende lunch hour. Mm-hmm. In fact ile kanisa nilienda lunch hour mm-hmm. ni revival mm-hmm. kule sanctuary. Oh. Na nilikuwa na shilingi kumi peke yake. Mm-hmm. Ni miaka imeenda. Mm-hmm. Sasa nilikuwa nimepanga baada ya mahubiri mm. sasa nitatoka niende kwa mkahawa ni kunywa chai niendelee na maombi yangu. Mm. Lakini yule ambaye alihubiri anchawa mm. alipofika wakati wa kutoa mm. alisema kama unamwamini Mungu ndiye huwa anakupatia. Yes. Hautakuwa na shida ya kutoa sadaka yako. Mm. Akasema kutoa sadaka ni kuonesha kwamba unamtumainia Mungu mm. na unajua ndiye hukupa. Mm. Wow kaanza kusikia sauti inasema nitoe ten bob yangu mm. ile ya karatasi mm. na nilingengana sana lakini ile ya karatasi i mm. agree <laughs> nilingengana sana mm. lakini finally nilienda nikatoa nilipotoa nilisikia amani yes na nikaenda nyumbani mm-hmm. nilipofika nyumbani nimekaa niko na vitabu na soma soma naongea tu kwa haraka nikasikia mtu anabisha mlango mm. kumbe tena ni mgeni amekuja mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimebakisha shilingi 35 mm-hmm. kwa nyumba Mm-hmm. Na alipoingia sasa nikashindwa huyu tampea nini. Mm-hmm. Maana niko peke yangu nikaona mm-hmm. hakuna sukari hakuna ni nikasema wacha nimchemshie tu turungi nikaekelea maji kwa stove. Mm-hmm. Naongea juu ya stove wakati mm-hmm. huo. Mm-hmm. Wakati maji ilikuwa inachemka nikasema sasa afadhali ningechukua hizi pesa mm-hmm. nimunulie soda. Mm-hmm. So nilipokuwa natoka na chupa kumnulia mm-hmm. anasema kwamba kwani unaenda na moja zivene na mbili najua kwa moyo haitoshi mbili mm-hmm. lakini nikamwambia mimi sitaki soda. Mm-hmm. So nikamletea akanywa mm-hmm. na mimi nikakunywa ile maji moto. Mm-hmm. Alipokuwa akitoka mm-hmm. zile pesa aliniachia. Mm-hmm. Ile baraka aliniachia. Kama tutaona uwepo wa Mungu mm-hmm. hata akija kutushindania kutu, yes. lazima tukubali kusikia nini anasema. Mm-hmm. Wow. Kungengana hiyo kubwa mm-hmm. na kukubali kusubmit yes. Mungu upatikana. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
Na vingi ujumbe umeni encourage sana. Oh, yes. Utafuta uso wa Bwana. Mm. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama kutafuta uso wa Bwana. Mm. Now before tuendelee before masaa yetu endelee, mm. na msana tuangalie the benefit of seeking God. Oh, yes. What mm. is important? Mm-hmm. When you seek God, what mm. happens? Mm-hmm. Tuanze na Reverend Mutuli, what are the benefit of seeking God? Uh, the benefits of seeking God there are many. Mm-hmm. Uh, na kama vile nilikuwa nimesema wali, we will just share what God will help us. Mm-hmm. Uh, ya kwanza relationship mm. establishment of relationship mm. ya kwamba you know when you see god as i said earlier nikasema kuna dimensions mm. za maombi yeah. nikasema kuna asking, asking. nikasema kuna seeking, seeking. na nikasema kuna na knocking. kuna knocking mm. na nikasema asking mm. ina deal na a, a lot of a lot of christians mm. wako pale mm. na by the way that is a very carnal uh, level mm. very carnal ya mm. kwamba unapotokelezea katika uwepo wa mungu Hakuna kitu kingine mnaongeleshana na Mungu mm. nipatie nipatie nipatie. Mm. Unaona? Mm. It is very calm, it is very fresh. It is ve- it is it is, it is the fresh. Mm. Lakini seeking ni mtu ambaye ame grow. Ni mtu ambaye ako mature. Mm. You, you see there are three levels mm. of Christians mm. also. Kuna infancy. Mm-hmm. Okay? Na kuna carnal mm. Christians. Mm. Alafu kuna mature Christians. Mm. Mature Christians ni wale watu ambao they are not moved by material things mm-hmm. wana moviwa na mungu mwenyewe mm-hmm. they want god mm-hmm. if i don't have god i don't have it all mm-hmm. all that i want it is god mm-hmm. unaona sasa na niseme hivi ya kwamba unapo kuna kiwango mtu huwa nafika muna una, unaingiana na mungu mm-hmm. kabisa you become one with god oh, yes. unaona sasa mm-hmm. the bible says in the book of psalms that those who look upon the lord their face are radiant mm-hmm. Their face are radiant. Mm-hmm. Ukikaa katika hiyo dimension, unaingiana na Mungu in such a relationship that whatever you command, it is commanded. Mm-hmm. Na iko na backup ya bingu mzima. Na example mbili ni Elijah. Mm-hmm. Anasema in the book of uh, First Kings chapter 17, ya kwamba hakutanyesha ijapokuwa kwa neno langu. Mm-hmm. Lakini hapo katikati ya kunyesha na neno langu, langu anasema ya kwamba as long as the lord live it in whom i stand mm. unaona sasa so hiyo is an element of relationship mm. so he's been standing in the presence of god so katika kusimama mbele ya mungu wanakuwa kitu kimoja because as I, as i said that you don't walk with someone and remain to be the same it's true kuna mtu alisema ya kwamba someone who is exposed does not go back to the original mm. unaona what am i trying to say Moses ukiangalia in the book of Exodus chapter 24 inasema ya kwamba uh, Mungu alimuita mm. akitaka kumuongelesha mm. and then they went with a lot of people mm. and then the bible talks about the dimensions ambazo walipitia mm. kwanza kabisa wali, walikuwa kule chini biblia inasema ya kwamba in Exodus 24 ya kwamba walifika kiwango wakaacha watu huko chini wakapana na 70 elders alama maandishi inasema ya kwamba walimuona Mungu wakiwa na the 70 elders mm. lakini Mungu akawaita Musa Musa akamuita Musa Musa akapanda wakiwa na Joshua mm. and the bible says alipo alipo acha wale 70 elders kumbuka ya kwamba walimuona Mungu mm. wakala na wakanywa mm. lakini walifika kiwango kingine maandishi nasema for about i think six or seven days mm. wakazungukwa na na wingu mm. the shekina crowd of glory wakiwa mm. na Joshua wawili mm. lakini still Mungu akarudi akaita Musa akamwambia i want you to come uh, Mungu Musa akajua ya kwamba sasa hapa hata huyu mmoja nimeenda na yeye lazima niache yeye mm. akaacha Joshua in the second level so wale the 70 elders waliacha the first level alafu the second level Joshua akaacha alafu sasa Mungu Musa akaingia to the other dimension where the bible says atinaye Mungu akamhudumia the, the Lord himself akamhudumia for 40 days and for 40 nights wakati Musa alipokuwa na shuka chini of course alikuja na the Ten commandments but be, beyond that maandishi nasema ya kwamba alikuja akiwa amevikwa na utukufu fulani ni kwa sababu gani he has been beholding the face of god he has been seeking god unaona sasa ati watu walikuwa namwangalia wanasema hapana huyu mtu acha tumweke nini avail because we cannot be able to look at him because ya vile utukufu wa Mungu huko kwa hivyo mimi nataka kusema ya kwamba kuna relationships relationship huwa inakuwa established every time you become a god seeker wow umeelezea kwa kindani unajua these people are hearing yes there is a kind of relationship that mm. if you want yes. you have to seek god yes in a strengthen your relationship mm-hmm. yes reverend 
Tukiangalia jambo lingine kama vile tulikuwa tumesomewa ile scripture mm -hmm. ile Jeremiah 29 verse 11 mm -hmm. kitu ambacho sana kiko pale wana Israeli wamefinyiriwa lakini Mungu anataka kuambia ako na mawazo mm -hmm. na ako na mipango juu yao mm -hmm na ni mipango mizuri na anaongea mambo makubwa mm. lakini anaanza kuwashauri mm. anawaonesha waje mbele zake yes wa muombe wa muite ataitika mm -hmm. verse 30 ituambie wamtafute mm. kwa mioyo yao na watampata mm. so eh, faida nyingine ya kuwa na uwepo wa Mungu uwepo wa Mungu ndio huleta mawazo ya Mungu mm. katika maisha yetu mm -hmm. so the presence of god mm. brings the mind of god in our lives. In our lives. Mm. Unajua kuna watu wengi ambao hawajai kujua mawazo ya Mungu katika maisha yao. Mm. Kile wanasikia ni vile dunia inasema vita ya mapepo lakini katika ulimwengu wa kiroho aliyewaumba mm. pia ako na mawazo, ako na mipango. Mm. Wakati tunatafuta uwepo wa Mungu, Mungu uwepo wake ndio unaleta Mm. mipango yake mawazo yake katika mm. maisha yetu. Mm. Unaona wakati mambo yanakuwa mazuri katika maisha ya mwanadamu. For example, mm -hmm. mtu kama Hana mm -hmm. wakati alikuwa hana mtoto na hana uwezo wa kupata mazao, mm -hmm. wakati alipata mazao, sasa ni mpango wa Mungu ulionekana katika maisha yake. Mm -hmm. Watu wengi hawajui kwenda kuitisha ile mipango ya Mungu. Mm -hmm. Una mtu mmoja alisema tukifika mbinguni mm -hmm. E, kuna watu wataambiwa na hii ilikuwa yako yes. na hii ilikuwa yako na nilikuwa nimekusudia utafika pale mm. lakini kwa sababu hawakutafuta Mungu mm. maana Mungu akija anakuja na package mm. anakuja na mawazo yake katika maisha yetu mm. sasa faida nyingine kwa, kwa kifupi mm. ya kuleta ya, 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 ya uwepo wa Mungu katika maisha yetu mm. ni mawazo ya Mungu inakuwa manifested in our lives, in our lives. Wow. Mm. yeah that is powerful mm. so uh, reverend you said when we seek god Mm -hmm. we shall have an established relationship yes. that is strong relationship mm -hmm. that uh, mungu sasa na he can share with you so mm -hmm. many things because mm -hmm. you have that intimacy intimacy yeah. unaona mm -hmm. na reverend ametuambia hapa kwamba mm -hmm. mungu ako na mipango mizuri na mawazo mazuri juu ya maisha yetu yes. but unless we seek god mm -hmm. these plans and his mind will never be manifested mm -hmm. in short to, when we seek the lord mm -hmm. his plan and his ways and and his mind on us will mm. be manifested. Mm. Yes, Reverend, but here another one. Yeah, mm. na pia kuongezea another benefit mm. it's God's peace. Mm. God's peace. Yes, That's whereby true. when you when you seek the face of God, mm. uh God gives you peace. Mm -hmm. Yes, he gives you peace. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 26 verse 3, mm. you will keep in perfect peace mm. whose mind is stayed up on you. Mm -hmm. Wakati kama huu wakati tunapitia mambo yale ambayo tunapitia sasa hizi mm -hmm. coronavirus mm -hmm. eh, pandemic mm -hmm. ni vizuri watu wajue ya kwamba amani ya Mungu mm -hmm. inapatikana mm -hmm. kwa wale ambao wanatafuta uso wa Mungu mm -hmm. kwa sababu kama saa hizi wakati unaangalia kitu kama kafiu for example it gives a lot of stress mm -hmm. and a lot of depression by the way there are people who are so stressed mm -hmm. and so depressed because ni kitu ambacho hawajawaiona mm -hmm. maybe wengine wetu hapa tuliona back i think it was in 1982 or something mm -hmm. kitu kama hiyo mimi nakumbuka kulikuwa na kafiu kama hiyo mm -hmm. but also uh, the fact that you are a god seeker mm -hmm. unafika kiwango where by vitu kama zile hazikustui oh. unaona kwa hivyo ni vizuri nikaweze ku encourage especially waka, wale watu ambao wanasikia kwamba wako stressed mm -hmm. up sasa hizi mm -hmm. that despite of what is happening it is good to seek the face of god because he is a provider of peace mm. amani ya mungu inapatikana kwa wale watu ambao wanatafuta mungu wow. utafuta mungu wow. Wow. kwa hivyo ni vizuri watu watafute mungu ndipo wow. mungu yes the peace of god the peace of god that surpasses human understanding wow yes shall be their portion wow yes mm. alafu pia another thing ambayo ningependa kusema mm ni kwamba pia Mungu huwa anapigana vita vyetu. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. God fights our battles. Yes. It's, a benefit. It's a benefit. So you don't seek God mm -hmm. and God fails to fight to fight your battles. That is mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he is a fighter. God fights, he responds. Mm -hmm. Wakati una vita fulani katika mm -hmm. maisha yako, mm -hmm. iwe ni vita ya biashara, mm -hmm. iwe ni vita ya, ya imani yako, mm -hmm. iwe ni vita ya ndoa yako, mm -hmm. ya familia or anything. Mm -hmm. If you see God unakuta unapata ya kwamba Mungu anakupigania. Mm. Kwa mfano mtu ambaye anajiita Elija. Mm. Elija alipigania vita vyake mm. at Mount Carmel mm. when the prophets of Baal were against him. Mm. Unaona sasa Mungu akampigania hiyo vita. Mm. Kwa hivyo mimi najua kwamba you do not seek God and God fails to fight your battle. Wow. Yes. Wow.
Mm. That is, you remind me of uh, Second Chronicles yeah. 20, when uh, Judah seek God. Yes. They were about to be destroyed. Mm. And the Bible says when they seek God, God told them, now this is not your battle. Mm -hmm. This is not your fight. Yes. It is my fight. That is powerful. Mm -hmm. So you have told that when you seek God, there yes. is peace there's that peace. comes to your life. Yes. In the midst of trouble, in the midst of the storm, unasikia kumba kuna kuna hile tu amani na kuja. Yes. Number two, when you seek God, he mm. will fight for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Reverend. Yeah. Wakati ya uwepo wa mungu hauko katika maisha yetu, mm. yes. kuna hasara nyingi sana. Sana. Mm. Wakati katika kitabu cha Old Testament, mm -hmm. uwepo wa mungu ulidhihirika kupitia ile sanduku mm -hmm. ya agano. Yes. Wakati wana wa Israel walikuwa na sanduku la agano, mm -hmm. walikuwa na wakika mm -hmm. ushindi lazima wako nao. Oh, yes. Na wakati ile sanduku ya agano ilirudi, ukiangali ile celebration ilikuwa mbaka wakati ule vile David alisifu, mbaka mm -hmm. nguo zikafunguka. Mm -hmm. Wakati uwepo wa mungu uko na watu, kuna furaha. Yes. Kuna celebration. Mm -hmm. Wakati uwepo wa Mungu uko na watu, kuna utukufu. Oh, yes. Ukiangalia wakati wa, wa, wa Eli, mm -hmm. wakati sanduku la Bwana lilichukuliwa likaenda, mpaka mm -hmm. mtoto aliyezaliwa wa kijana wa Eli aliitwa Ikabod. Mm -hmm. Maana utukufu huondoka mm -hmm. wakati utukufu wa Mungu huko. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia uh, for example hata ibada mm -hmm. na makanisa, mm -hmm. wakati uwepo wa Mungu hauko kanisani, mpaka mm -hmm. unasikia kuna utukufu. Mm -hmm. Kumekauka. kumekauka. Kwa hivyo, benefit nyingine ni ya kwamba unasikia kuna, kuna mambo mazuri. Mm -hmm. Tena, utukufu, uh, sorry, eh, hii uwepo wa mungu, mm -hmm. vile ilikuwa ikidhihirika kupitia sanduku la agano, mm -hmm. ukiangalia wakati mambo ya meshinda mwanadamu. Yes. Na ya mekua magumu. Mm -hmm. Wakati uwepo wa mungu unashuka. Mm -hmm. Ya naweze kana. Mm -hmm. Ipeana example moja. Mm -hmm. Wakati Yoshua alifika pare Jordan. Mm -hmm. Mandiko inasema ilikuwa imejaa mpaka mm. imefurika. Mm. Mano ilikuwa wakati wakofurika. Mm. Lakini mungu anasema leo Yoshua nitakuinua. Yes. Kama vile ni inua Musa. Mm. Lakini imejaa. Sasa Yoshua alipanga akaweka makuhani. Mm. Na wakaenda na sanduku la buwana. Mm. Ama uwepo wa mungu. Mm. Wakati uwepo wa mungu unatangulia watu wa mungu. Yale hayawezekani, mm. yanawezekana. Mm. Na kanisa linaweza kosa kupingwa mm. na kuzuiliwa na mirango ya kuzimu. Mm. Ama hali zote mm. wakati tuko na uwepo wa mungu. Mana mm. tukua na mungu, tuko na uwakikiso mm. wa kila jambo. Mm. Mm. Ni marizia ya mwisho haraka. Mm. Wakati Yoshua walishindwa, pale nikuwa nimetaja pale mbele. Mm. Maniko inasema ya kwamba Yoshua pamoja na waze, walienda wakajiankusha mbele ya sanduku ya buwana. Mm. Kutoka asubui, paka jioni. Mm -hmm. Na maandiko inasema ya kwamba wakati Mungu alikuja alikonga gonga Yoshua. Mhm. Mm Akainua Yoshua akamwambia mbona unalia? Mm -hmm. Na Mungu akaanza kusaidia Yoshua kuelewa shida iko wapi. Mm -hmm. Wakati uwepo wa Mungu katika maisha yetu kuna vita vingine huwa tunapigana na tuelewi ni nini liendelea? Mm -hmm. Ni nini natukula? Mm -hmm. Shida iko wapi? Mm -hmm. Lakini uwepo wa Mungu huwa unafunua paka zile shida tuko nazo. Mm -hmm. Hapo ndipo Mungu aliambia baka Yoshua kile kiliendelea kuna mtu anaitwa Akani alifanya mm. alifanya sasa Yoshua akaamka hapo akijua ya kwamba kumbe shida ndio hii mm. uwepo wa Mungu unafunua mpaka unajibu maswali yes. ambayo tuko nayo katika maisha yetu mm. hey, Reverend umeelezea mambo kwa kindani na mazito mm. that when we seek the Lord mm. number one, mm. we shall experience the what we call uh, the glory of God mm. Mm. will come in our lives. Mm. Not only the glory, but ata ile furaha ya Bwana mm. itaingia juu yetu. Yes. Na kuna kitu umetaja hapo kizuri kwamba wakati tunatafuta uso wa Bwana, mm. mambo ambayo hayakuwezekana mm. kwa uwezo wa mwanadamu. Mm. Tukitafuta uso wa Bwana na nguvu za Mungu zikuja, all when the presence of the Lord comes, it mm. becomes possible. Yes. Na kuna kitu pia umeguzia hapo, ukasema kwamba Sometime tunaweza kuwa tunapigana katika vita. Mm -hmm. We are fighting battles we don't understand. Mm -hmm. We are fighting battle we are losing battle. Mm -hmm. Na ni kumbe ni sisi hatujavuta uso wa Bwana. Right. Tukitafuta uso wa Bwana na Mungu apatikane, mm -hmm. anatuambia mm -hmm. our son, our daughter. Mm -hmm. Hapa ndio kuna shida. Yes. Never mtu nikupatie dakika moja kwa sababu naona dakika zangu zinayoyoma kabisa. Amen. That was so powerful, Reverend mm -hmm. Joroge. That was powerful. Um ningependa tu kuongeza tu moja peke yake ambayo God rewards mm. the seekers. God rewards yeah, the seekers. He rewards the seekers. Mm. Uh, you cannot seek God mm. and uh, God fails to reward you. Mm. Of course, Hebrews chapter 11 in Atuambia that God is a reward of those who diligently seek him. Mm. But kuna moja tu kwa haraka scripture ambayo inanifraisha ga sana. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verses 5. Inasema says, 
uh, inasema hivi kwa manen, maneno tuko ufupi mm. ya kwamba the widows who did not pray day and night mm. were considered lovers of pressure mm. and were not to be given financial help mm. the widows mm. widows eh wale ambao wanakosa kutafuta uso wa Mungu mm. awa waliambi, wa, wali, wali, waliambiwa awa hawatapata usaidizi mm. wa kifedha mm. kwa sababu waliachwa ndipo waweze kutafuta uso wa Mungu mm. lakini sasa wanatafuta nini mm. vitu tofauti mm. kwa hivyo ile usaidizi hawapati mm. hivi nasema ya kwamba ni vizuri watu wakaweze kutafuta uso wa Mungu mm. because unapotafuta uso wa Mungu God himself rewards you there is a blessing that god uh, you know blesses you with mm. simply because you have learned to seek him wow. viewers we are talking about the power behind seeking the face of god na tumeongea vitu vingi there is a verse that i love so much inasema psalms 34 verse 10 mm. inasema and those who seek god lack nothing yes mm. na wale ambao watu wanatafuta mungu mm. huwa hawakosi mm. that you cannot seek god yes. and lack Mm. Another verse nikimalizie inasema uh, Psalms 9:10 inasema God will never forsake those who seek him. Yes. Na Mungu hata waiachilia watu ambao wanamtafuta. Mm. Viewers we have been talking about seeking the face of God. Mm. And I believe you're blessed na tume, uh, tumeangalia mpaka the importance of seeking the Lord. Yes. Mm. Na ni kitu cha muhimu sana tujue kwamba we seek the Lord. Mm. When we seek the Lord so many things will happen to our lives. Mm-hmm. Finally. Finally. I know this is the time whereby we have uh, so much fear mm. because of what is happening. Yes. Mm. Every day tunasikia kuna watu kama hao wameongezeka na all that. Mm. Ningetaka kuambia watu kile ambacho kiobakia sasa ni kutafuta uso wa Bwana. Mm. Psalms 9:10 inasema mm. now Psalms 34 verse 4 inasema mm. those who seek the Lord shall be delivered from their fear. Mm. Yes. And it is important we know that mm. there is power in seeking the Lord. Yes. Mm. Kama kanisa tutapata nguvu tena. Mm. ni wakati tutaenda katika milimani mm. tutafuta uso wa Bwana. Yes. Na hivi uh, ukiangalia kanisa hapo ya kitambo mm. katika mitume ma reverend na njoo umesoma kitabu cha mitume. Yes. Hao watu walikuwa wanatafuta Mungu sana. Mm. Na yale mambo ambayo yalikuwa yanatendeka katika maisha yao mm. ilikuwa ni mambo makubwa. Mm. Ni kwa sababu walitafuta uso wa Bwana. Yes. So we are joining hands together with the men of God mm. to tell the body of Christ it mm. is time to seek the face of God. Amen. When we seek the face of God mm. all things shall be well. Amen. Nataka tumalizie. Thank mm. you Reverend Joroge. Thank you so much. Thank you Reverend Mutuli. Thank God you, bless you. Mm. Uh, viewers, uh, I know we shall be here next Tuesday mm. uh, with other men of God. Mm. So thank you for watching. Kuna namba ambazo zinapitia but there are so many numbers that are passing there you can write to us you can call us and tell us uh, how you, you this program are helping you mm. and our god will bless you this is look up tv mm. look up tv hope to the world mm. we would like us to pray before we leave yes uh, we know the situation in the in the world right now mm. and also in our country ngeuliza tushikane mikono and then rever mutuli for one minute yes i will pray because of our viewers mm. those who are winner from all over part of the world and from all over part of this country so that they will be encouraged mm. in the name of jesus Christ. amen thank you jesus shall we pray mm. everlasting father we come before your presence this day amen. we want to thank you and we want to magnify your name thank, thank, you, thank you lord for all our viewers mm. those who've been listening to us oh god yes, lord. you've talked about seeking god amen. i pray the lord you're going to pour the grace amen. for them to seek the face of god amen. i pray the lord even in these difficult times oh god amen. let that grace amen. the sufficient grace of god amen. be upon them oh jehovah amen. that will make their lives easier amen. even as they seek the the face of god Amen. remove any difficulty Mm-hmm. in their hearts remove every hardship in mm-hmm. their hearts oh jehovah mm-hmm. anything that lord the enemy might want to bring in them mm-hmm. to oppose them seeking god oh god mm-hmm. i pray the lord you shall make their hearts to be easy mm-hmm. even as they seek your face oh lord mm-hmm. and the bible says that uh, those who seek you my father god they shall live mm-hmm. i pray the lord you shall allow them lord to live mm-hmm. at this particular time oh god mm-hmm. i want to take this opportunity my father god mm-hmm. even as we hold our hands oh god mm-hmm. in faith and in unity mm-hmm. We want to come up against the spirit of coronavirus. Mm. We want to scatter it right now Amen. in the mighty name of oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, oh God. Mm. I pray the Lord the spirit of fear mm. shall not hold the hearts of your people. Mm. I cancel spirit of fear mm. and I decree that these are no
not the slaves of fear again, Amen. but they are children of God. Mm. I pray the Lord you shall minister faith mm. upon them, O God. Mm. You shall raise your people off from where they are mm. to where, Lord, you want them to be. Amen. I decree that, Lord, you are covering every one of them, O Jehovah, Amen. with your angels, O God, Amen. and with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And there is no weapon that is fashioned against your people Amen. that shall prevail, O Jehovah. Amen. We want to speak to the body of Christ even now. Amen. To the men and the women of God, mm -hmm. we decree the Lord you shall prosper them even mm -hmm. at this particular time. Mm -hmm. Lord, it doesn't look so good at the moment, but I pray the Lord your mercies and your compassion mm -hmm. shall be upon their lives. I praise, I pray this, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. We pray and we believe. Amen. 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 Viewers, Amen. God bless you. Until we meet again with you, this is Pastor Martin, your host. May God bless you. Please tune on to uh, Look Up TV, and I know you shall be blessed. May God bless you, and bye bye.